Those dreads look second hand. <laughs> <laughs> like the car you buy. <laughs> like the cars you buy. Yeah. <laughs> second hand. Pre owned. Pre owned. <laughs> It's, it's in your pocket. Your, your yeah, it's in your, your pocket. pocket. You have to protect it like a phone. Yeah. <laughs> See, Anytime what life there's have a you trigger lived? right now <laughs> to send you back oh, man. from healing. Oh, we're so sorry. Ting. Great credit. Okay. Ooh, yeah. It's probably the accent. No. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> oh, standard. Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl and a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a Lala story. Pets and I'm a guest, a nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's in pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. 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 Call it world war like friends like these. Popcorn and cheese. Lower, 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 go lower, 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 go lower, go lower, we have to do it again. Come in, come into frame. Lower, lower, lower. There we go. Cool. Which go. one is this one? <laughs> Thank you, Toya Dele. Ah. Oh, no! <laughs> Which one is this one? It keeps the most down there. My head. Thank you, Black Simpson. Hey, vote IFP. <laughs> <laughs> Erase that. <laughs> that shirt looked like when your TV lost signal. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, more hair food than this guy's hairstyle will look like this plant. I was wondering what happened to Mac G's dreads. Oh, oh I see. That's who he sold him. Namaste, Sky Hill Reporter. How old are you guys? Oh, <laughs> Those dreads look second hand. <laughs> Like the car you buy. <laughs> like the cars you buy. Yeah. <laughs> second and pre owned. Pre owned. <laughs> Not second and pre owned. Yeah. Pre love, previously loved. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> You're previously loved. Yeah, that's Yo. what they call them now. Yes, okay, no, what's yeah. the product you like making fun of? Stone. Jabu Stone. Jabu Stone. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I could smell the Jabu Stone. <laughs> How old are you? Dallas Pila. Dallas Pila. <laughs> 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 Those threads were in Sarafina. <laughs> Crocodile lost one of them when he got shot. <laughs> oh, cheese boys, oh, cheese man. girls, a and cheese the cheese gang. gang. Welcome to a super special episode of Popcorn and, and cheese. cheese. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly bring you this episode of Popcorn and Cheese from mm. Stream In Studios. Stream In Studios, studios that have air conditioning. Power, lights, cameras, and of course, beautiful surroundings. I'm talking about Parkest, not suburbs of Johannesburg, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, mm -hmm. Caucasian people jogging and rowing their boats down at Imarincha Lake. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'd also like to mention the people who are here making this show possible. Lebois Homo's finest is sitting behind the camera, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. rocking his slippers with socks and swimming shorts, even though his pool is drained. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please put your digital hands together, make some noise. For Sisi, Chumeric, the Barbarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And of course, ladies and gentlemen, a man who cannot get a lift from Tsitsi because he doesn't fit in a Renault Quid. I'm talking about a man who has to drive in a bus every day to accommodate his size 14 feet and his long legs. It is known that he is 70% leg and 30% torso, but 100% pure talent. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the one and only Robert the Boy, Tsitsi yes. Jr. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every ship has a direction and needs to be steered by a leader, leading the ship in the captain of the army that we are in, wearing his army green top with an African logo from Duma Collective, because collectively, Sia <laughs> Duma, the head and main talented person in this place here that we call Popcorn and Cheese. Stand up comedian, but he's sitting down so you can understand him with suede Jordans on his feet. The one and only president of the Yellow Bones, Mpo Pops, Murikwane. And then she nge pola enge na guinet gusazo tuma la. Get it? Which one is this one? Come on. 
collectively, we didn't get that. Okay, yeah, it's fine. No, but let's <laughs> kickstart this interview. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. The kicks today. Hey, yeah, hey, no chance. Yeah, no. You guys are nice. No, we are fighting because we knew who our guest was today. Yeah, yes. no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Had to make sure. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, cheese boys, cheese girls, today we wanted to deliver you someone who's actually one of the most fierce businesswoman in all of South Africa. Mm. Someone we look up to in our industry. Someone who's making waves. Oh yeah. man, a titan. Mm. You know, when we talk about a kapatia. Right? Yeah. Okay. Somebody Dogs who, of life. Who yeah. actually says Tumamina and goes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. If exactly. Tumamina was a person. If Tumamina was a real person. Wow. And this is a person who has no money in her couch. <laughs> what? Uh, 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 <laughs> Am I going to make it through this chat, guys? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, we don't know. Buckle up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your digital hands together for the one, the only, Sibu, Sibu Mapena. Mapena. Can I take you guys everywhere? Yeah. I know. Uh, anyway. I'm you Maranya know, Dura. You're a will be your praise worshippers. We are there. As soon as you enter the boardroom. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. One get 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 one one get 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 one Something like that, like you, you are a millionaire, but you're in a taxi with a million inside a taxi. Inside the taxi, yeah. I was carrying a million, right? Not how. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how to steal a million. Or something. <laughs> no, like you, you were a millionaire, like mm. you had, you had a million somewhere. Yes. And but you were still taking taxis. Yeah, it wasn't in the couch. It was in our bank account. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I did have Why a million. Why would you do that? Yeah, no, so um, the thing was, <laughs> hi, first hi. of all. Hi, hi. Yeah, right? you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Oh, so we have to Get deal with this every, Okay, every inside, time. a million rand in my bank account, um, and it was a project fee. It was money that was, you know, supposed to work on a project. I didn't have a car, but I had a job to do. And instead of buying a car, I just said, let me carry on taking taxis until I can actually afford yeah, my personal money to buy one. And the money was to actually execute on a project for MTV. And we did it well. And then eventually I was able to build my way up into affording a car. Brand new. Automatic. Automatic. No, it wasn't cash. I was also uh, funded West Bank. by <laughs> West Bank. <laughs> Dylan. Woo. Woo. And so, your interest? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, okay. I don't even know. It's, I've got a good interest rate. I've got Ching. great credit. Okay. Ooh, yeah. It's probably the accent. No. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> standard. Uh, Mamela. Sibu, <laughs> before we ask you questions about carrying million rent. Hey, already. <laughs> in in taxi. Taxi. That camera, <laughs> those two cameras are yours essentially, okay. right? Because we have cheese boys and cheese girls out there mm. who are probably watching and are like, who is this pretty lady sitting on All the right. chair. So, please, let us know who you are. Full name. Okay. Full name. Full, full, I want them to know the middle one. <laughs> we both oh, okay. got gang when we blessed as hell. Yeah. Amen. In the intro song. Yeah. So don't Amen. worry. I know, Very you are blessed. protected. Did yeah. you smell them people coming in here? Yeah. <laughs> Safe. No, I came in. <laughs> yeah, continue. So, let us know who you are and what it is that you do. Okay, so I'm Sibu Mabena, a founder and chief creative officer at Duma Collective. And Duma Collective is a creative communications agency. Yeah. We do some really cool work with the likes of Robot Boy, Pop Pop, CT. Um, yeah. Yes, and we work with really great brands, so we get paid to do cool stuff. Um, and I do it with a team of 49 young, really great human beings who are all permanently employed, which is a thing in the South Africa of ours. Mm -hmm. um, we work in this entertainment industry, we do marketing. And yeah, we have a lot of fun doing it. So that's me. Cool. Mm. 49 staff, ladies and gentlemen. No, Permanent. no, 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 no. Permanent. 50. She's one. <laughs> 50, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I, yes, I am an employee, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> With, With medical what? aids. 
AIDS. With what? what? Medical AIDS. <laughs> like the power of AIDS. Who's this one, please? Plural of medical aid. Kiddy medical AIDS. Kiddy medical AIDS. Yo, can I tell you that 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 kickstart that year kickstart you had? Yeah, yo, yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. Like, guys, oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, not, you know when you, yo, <laughs> like you know, it's okay. There's faces that you know, and then even the faces that you don't know are the important people that you should know. Like that thing was like a, busy, 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 and young Ali, yeah, overseas, mara bigo yala and bigger. So look, I, I know what you're trying to say, right? You're mm. trying to say we were at like a Coachella meets Afrochella meets hey, rocking the day. Meets Bro, Rock I don't Nation know. brunch I don't, meets what they, Yeah, like a Rock Nation day. brunch. <laughs> guys, there, was, there was that thing that they did at someone's house where they all wore white. Why? It's also, I wanna, guys, if you want there, ne? Deleuze. No, no, no. I was going to say how, oh, uh, <laughs> You? Uh, <laughs> how old is the less? Hey, Jalapena, the less. Yo. But uh, yo, that thing Thank was you. that thing was power, so, but also what I wanna like congratulate you on with that is the ability to have so many people in one place, mm. but also we are all there to also celebrate you and your success. Oh. And it's 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 rare that thing to go to something just to celebrate someone else's success. Instead of go there because there's something that's coming out of it. I don't know if that makes sense. It does mm. make sense. It absolutely yeah. makes sense. And that, I think the intention behind it was to gather people of the industry who have contributed to Duma Collective success. Um, you know, it's a collective of people who have yeah. made us who we are. It's not just by our might. It's not just by our creativity. It's that there are clients and then there are suppliers and people in between who make things happen. Uh -huh. And ours is to gather you all to say, hey, you know, you did a job for this guy, the guy you don't know, but he's the guy that's actually paying you. Uh -huh. Or guy you don't know, uh -huh. there's a person behind the persona. There's, there's a human being behind the comedian. And come and see him, come and meet him, break bread, because that was the whole theme of the thing, breaking bread. There was literally bread oh, hanging. Yeah. Yeah. There was bread everywhere. <laughs> there was bread, bread hanging. hanging. Yes, <laughs> which was you then know, sent to a the sanctuary. <laughs> displayed. And it wasn't <laughs> just Sasko It was not thrown no, away. No, 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 that no, no, was no, no. It was bread from Jesus. You know that one from Jesus' <laughs> You know, you know from the bread from Pantry. Yeah. <laughs> you know the bread from Pantry. Yeah, right bread. And, the, and, the, and the, mm. you know those things old people get on their neck, those right bread had those. Just one. Aji Alban, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? Jesu. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, it doesn't like it was square cut mm. out. No. Jesu is gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is sesame seeds. Yeah. yeah Serious yeah, bread. Yeah, no. Jesu. So, so just to give the cheese gang some context, uh, we all started this big, uh, we all started the year at this big event called, uh, it was a kick, kick, it's a Duma Collective Kickstart. Kickstart, yeah. Kickstart Duma mm -hmm. Collective Kickstart event. And honestly speaking, and I'm not trying to buy face, mm. but honestly, that was the best event I've ever attended. Wow. Right? And and the reason why I say that, and, and that's, the touch that's also like a like 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 a big part of, of us having you here, right? Is we've all been privileged to work with you over the years. And the difference with working with you and, and seeing you at work is your attention to detail, oh. right? So walking into that event from, from the moment you park your car, from the moment you get your accreditation, there's a, every, everything has been thought of from the moment you step out the car. What happens when you get to the accreditation desk? Who you interact with, how those people look, how you're met, how an umbrella person yeah. walks you from that to the entrance of the actual event. Soon as you walk into the actual event, there was a makeup station. Mm. Yes. Like a, like a full-on makeup <laughs> station. So Bay on the left, yeah. so Legends on the left. left uh, in front of you. Yes. Abo my sister on the right with the eight. No, it was, yeah. So you, you've, hey. got, you've got the barber where you can literally touch up your fr your fade or yeah. if you, you know, came like how you're looking today, then you could have actually <laughs> fixed it all together. Which one is this one? <laughs> okay. You know, you, you could get your nails done. Yeah. And then from there, and cigars. you go up to this other venue and there's there's a cigar lounge. Yes. And now you can, bro, we haven't even gotten to the event. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still walking. We're You're still, still walking. <laughs> walking into 
already there was that other girl that said, "Hi, if you guys want to, what what is she offering us? Tattoos. They could give yeah, tattoos. Yeah, get a tattoo. Hey, tattoos. Before you go inside. Tattoos. Before you get a tattoo. And not those ones that you Dude. get at, at spur and then they come off after you bath. <laughs> uh, Real oh, tattoos. Or oh, those ones that give you infection. I tell you. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hey. Hey. We don't know. We don't know. We are cool. Turn up my infection. Yeah. 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 Turn up. Medical aids, nama. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so there was all of that, and then even from there, when we walked across, finally after that gauntlet of all these amazing touch points. Oh, there was a cocktail gauntlet. making class as well. <laughs> Cocktail, cocktail making, making. Yeah. So, so, so that's, and there was painting so that's where we went past right yeah. just where, where the bar was yeah. the yeah. sip and paint you know what it was yes. it was an event that cared for your mental health yes you get what I'm saying like could it like your mental health was at ease so mm. all you had to do was just enjoy yourself have you ever been to an event where your mental health no. is in your pocket no <laughs> oh no no, oh, no. I thought you said <laughs> where it's taken care of like this no <laughs> Right? And I felt that way. Which event did you it's know? In your where pocket. Your, where your <laughs> yeah, it's in, in your pocket. pocket. You have to protect it like a phone. <laughs> <laughs> See, Anytime what life there's have a you trigger made? right now <laughs> to, to send you back oh, man. from healing. Oh, we're so sorry for what you've been through. We are so sorry. <laughs> Yeah. It was nice and refreshing. Yeah, Thank you so much. honestly, Titi put it so well. Like, as as events people, we're always going to events, kind of expecting the same stuff, or or, mm. or knowing that oh, yeah. I'm gonna get you and do this, bro. From the moment we walked in, I think in the back of my head, all I could hear was those sound effects. Oh, because I was at peace, I was at ease. Everything was well thought out. You had a card system, <clears> for a card drinks system and, for drinks yeah. and like vouchers and. Even the signage is telling you everything. Mm. So I, like, I, I, I want to know uh, from you, right, with, with all that being given, how, uh, how much work do you actually put in to your work? So it's, it's, it's a very difficult one to explain because mm -hmm. it's a, every idea I come up with or everything that we execute as a team is a culmination of different experiences. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm very passionate about bringing experiences from the world into, you know, here and kind of taking what we do here into the world. And mine is to put myself in the shoes of my guest, of my consumer, of whoever is interacting with this thing that we're in charge of producing and make them feel like, damn, someone really thought about me. Yes. Because it's so important that a person walks in a certain way and walks out improved. Uh -huh. Whatever um, they come into that space it, it, feeling or having experienced when they, you know, parked, the moment they leave, they must just feel like, what was that? Mm. Why to did that feel so good? To the, to the T. Yeah, and, and, and it was also a curation of the type of people that we brought in. Exactly. He said it. Right? Yeah. That yeah. It, it wasn't just, um, it was very important to make sure that it's all people who are good people uh -huh. and people who are... <laughs> wow, Titi. But you were there, John. So yeah, why? No, I was. Yeah, no, so. But I know people who went. <laughs> yo, yo, and I'm getting really blasted for that. But in that, it's not that... Oh, that's so tough. No, please. You have to see. Fight. No, but it was nice. Tell them. <laughs> 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 oh, I did not see oh, that okay, response okay. coming. Oh, yeah, no. no, but oh, it was word. a really um, considered group of people yeah, in yeah. that we've worked with you or you are close to us in some way, shape or form. Mm. And we know that when you get into that space, you'll immediately understand what we're doing. Guys, you're not going to ask questions. There wasn't a VIP there. I love yeah, it. Everyone yeah. is a VIP, including like, the artists. The only thing that we had was yes. an artist area backstage. That they literally. didn't even use. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, it was yeah, like... Everybody was uh, Musa, humble pagel and nobody about like you know, uh, Mandisa, Devon Gogo. Yeah, she got up while pagela like everybody else because yeah, she, the she, entire she. experience is for people we consider to be very important. Yes, there was, there was, there was absolute, and that's where that's where I realized the type of event we were at. Funny enough, you should mention the artist thing, Musa. Literally was we were with Musa in the crowd. We were yeah. with Oscar Mbo in the crowd. Yeah. We were with Devon Gogo in the crowd. It wasn't one of those events where artists come, chill at the back, 
gig, 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 leave. Mm -mm. They gigged. They, I remember Oscar Mbo had a gig to go to, but he didn't want to leave. Mm. Mm. Right? So <clears throat> here's, here's what I want to know, right? As a young Sibu Mabena, mm -hmm. the girl who was counting the money in the taxi. Mm. <laughs> Before having a million <laughs> times. <time. laughs> <laughs> 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 what? Mm -hmm. when, when, <laughs> when, 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 when you were growing up, bro, what was the dream and are you living it now? Um, the dream was undefined. The dream wasn't, it wasn't a clear picture that, oh, this is what I'm going to be. I'm going to study this yeah. and I'm going to do this and I'm going to get an internship and then this is going to be my career path. I just knew, I knew I wanted to be influential. <clears throat> I knew I wanted to be someone with some kind of ability to make something I've thought of happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to um, be a solution to people's problems in a world that I enjoy, entertainment and marketing. Uh -huh. And I realized quite young that I do have a bit of a knack for connecting people and plugging people and kind of making you see something that you didn't know you have um, and then taking that and plugging it to this guy to say, hey, the two of you could actually work together. Have you thought about things this way? And then something comes of that. So this plugs you and now you are multi plug Yeah. Extension I'm, cord. I'm an extension cord with multiple plugs. You, you understand? understand? Mm -hmm. So it's... Hey, we need you. <laughs> I'm here. Let's go. But um, yeah, and, and that's how I termed myself as a bit of a fixer in marketing. Uh -huh. People would come with, hey, I've got this issue. Can you help me do this thing? And then I'd do it. And I'd say, oh, yeah, I fixed that. Yeah. And then I fixed that and I fixed that. And now I'm the fixer. So. Yeah. Did you? Who did you start with? Because I, I don't assume you started by yourself. Um, <laughs> no. So I registered the company as a means to invoice mm -hmm. and look like a professional because I was doing a lot of freelancing work. Mm -hmm. I was running quite a high level freelancing operation because I was doing multiple jobs at the same time, and in order to position myself as an organization and not just an individual that's doing a lot. Yeah. I registered a company, registered a domain so I could have a professional email address and a website. And when people do research and say, who is this, you know, Cebu, they find something. Uh -huh. And my first company's name was Mbutuma Communications. Uh -huh. Oh, I just forgot. I actually didn't tell people my full name and surname. So. That's why I said full name and you were yeah. worried about which club. <laughs> no, but Cebu <laughs> Yile Zanele Mapena is mm -hmm. my name, my government name, um, and Mbutuma, mm -hmm. so I registered my company as Mbutuma Communications, and um, yeah, it was my way of just branding myself as a some kind of company, because I didn't understand at the time that I was an agency, and an agency is really a simple term for a person who's an agent, Mm. for solutions, right? Ooh. Someone come, A company comes to you with a problem and you become the agent going out and finding the solution, the solution. and oh. matching it to that company. So yeah. that's what an agency is. And only down the line after learning and speaking to people, doing more research, did I realize that, okay, this thing can be a big business that employs people, changes people's lives and gets a whole bunch of people to do cool things and get paid for them. So, yeah, did I know what I was doing? No. Um, how did we get here by just registering a company, one person, getting help, second person, then the third, then the fourth, then 10, then 20, then in COVID, well, in COVID it became, yeah, we went from seven people to 23 in that year. <clears throat> and then after that, it just became like, duh, I woke up with this 49 people. <laughs> it's a business. We pay 49 salaries. PAYE yes. for 49 people. Jeez. Come on. And it's, um, that is a flex. Yeah. I mean, that is a flex. It could be more. I really wish it could be more. Um, and, and one day it will be because we'll get paid more to do what we I mean, do. I mean. But for now, with what we have, that's that's the the ability that we are, are kind of flexing on. I, I can't believe you employ 50 people and you say... And you still sit there and you go, cool. I it wish. It could be more. It, like, I, it could be more. And, yeah. and, and, and you're adamant about that, right? To some people, just like getting to employ 10 people would be like yeah. the dream. You know, getting to employ 20 people would be the dream. You're at 50 and you're like, ah, I haven't even just begun. You and I'm not even... five interns to us at the kickstart. Oh, yeah. My yeah. babies. Oh. I just, you know, I'm, I'm really not downplaying the, this 
thing that we've been able to achieve as a collective. You mm-hmm. know, I, I always say to the team that you are responsible for the next person's seat, right? Yes. You are building the, the the collective. It's not the Cebu collective, it's Duma collective. Mm-hmm. And if you don't take that responsibility seriously of building this company for there to be a company for other people to come and find and work in, then this is not the right place for you to be at. And we have an incredible team of humans who understand we're building an oasis for African creativity to flourish. We are resolute about it. We all know the mission. We know the why, the what. And yeah, that's what we're doing. So when I say it could be more, thank you for the plugs. Uh I appreciate this Uh is starting to look like a paid promo. You had to pay But it is not. I don't know. Me, I'm not very (laughs) much. No one would have known that because you're not in. But now, so it's keep. It's in the car. Okay. (laughs) In the quid? (laughs) (laughs) It's there. It's covering my car. It's on the dashboard. Ah, it's, 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 any way we can, yes. We'll fix any problem, my dear. So, so I want to know, Sibu, right? What does what does what does success look like to you, right? As as someone who who is making it, right? Mm. Your 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 company is doing well. You're employing so many people. What does success look like to Sibu Mapena? What what do you deem as yeah. success? Um, you know that answer changes every time I get asked because I'm a mover. I, <laughs> I, I I live right. I live right now. What I'm feeling is that success is being able to do what I said I would do. What did I say I would do? Yeah. Uh, take care of God's people. These are God's people that I'm working with. Step one: um, deliver great, effective, creative solutions to my clients. That's step two, or part two. Um, being able to create space for other creatives to be able to realize their own ambitions and whatever dreams that they have. Um, Creating more seats at the table for people. So I'm successful today because I'm not happy alone. I've got people like buying cars. (laughs) This car thing. (laughs) I've got people buying brand new cars. I've got people paying off their debt. I've got people buying buying land for their families. There are Mm. people like we've got... Dads, you know, um, being able to do things for their children and plan for private schools and like buying so many cool things are happening that are making these young humans self-actualize and Mm. not have to struggle to contemplate how am I actually going to build a home for my family as a man or as a as a single mom, how am I going to take this child to school? Or as a child to a parent, how am I going to see my parents through their health care one day? The, that's what we're doing. And we're not doing it in the context of doing jobs you hate. Yeah. Our work is hot. It is so hard to do the work we do because no one sees the skid work in the background. Yeah. However, yeah. We're, we're doing some cool stuff. You know, we yeah. get to be front row at a Global <clears throat> Citizen concert. After working 17, 18 hours, um, we get to be there and mm. sing along to Beyonce and Jay-Z, or mm-hmm. standing at the back with Oprah and Tyler Perry, or working with a Casper and you only knew him from TV and now you're seeing him, or Empoa and a robot boy just walking into the office randomly, you're just like, yo, is this real right now? Am I actually seeing these people who I've looked up to and now they are here right in front of me? So that's what we're doing. We're doing cool things, getting paid for them and changing lives and we keep paying it forward and that's what success means to me. Yeah, you know what sure. I like about the, the definitions of success is that they're realistic in the context of the country that we live. You know, I, I think a lot of successful people's stories, they actually, um, you know, they they, 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 they they oppress us with their mm. success stories, you know, just because Mandela is a pilot. Now we, the other, the other children in the school, like, you you know, just, what? We have the same 24 hours. No, no, we don't. (laughs) Your 24 hours is Which one is this one? Mine is trying to get inside a text. You understand? So, so You guys are laughing. You're being serious, please. I know, I know, I know. (laughs) No, Titi, I've got you. Talk to me. Focus on me. I, 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 I like it when people have a realistic explanation of, of of success where it's like, yo, it's hard. It's hard work. If you it might not be for you. This this avenue that I'm on might yeah. not be for you. But if you wanna come this way, I will support you. I'll do this. But I can't give it to you. 
Yeah. Uh, I can only inspire you to kind of move on for, and that's what, and some that's something that even working with you, you're very um, express. You express it a lot. Even your character is not some is not a character that people use and say, "Yeah, black girls, all of you can be like this." No, mm-hmm. it's like no. This person works hard, bro. Yeah. For a girl, a boy, for a black person, for a white person, for any person, this is a hardworking hard person, yeah. Yeah. and I like that a lot. Thank you. Yo, um, you very you big on affirmations, right? And like the boardrooms in your building. Congratulations on the building, also. Thank you. <laughs> really building what you need to stand for and holding your ground. Speaking of building, we're in a new building, but it's the same building, doing new things. Streaming studios right here in Parkest. Pop pops. What a plug! You're what? so good at this. <laughs> Justice. No, but we got the privilege of dropping into your new building, right? And we were we were driving past. We had just done a, uh, an interview on Metro FM. Mm. And we were driving past. And mid-conversation, we caught the Duma Collective logo. Our, uh, we're like, oh, this is the new headquarters. <laughs> Zubi, turn the Zubi. vehicle around. <laughs> we literally did a U-turn. And we got to the gate. The security guard was like, Nifunan Lava Fan. And they literally then let us in. Then Malume Josias let us in. No, no, that that we've changed our protocols, please. Did you sang? Was there a book? There was a book. We signed it. <laughs> With real phone numbers. Because you know she'll check. <laughs> <laughs> no, she will check. Hey, bro, we to, went to the building and we roasted everybody. <laughs> we, we were, but but the thing is, we also went in to see the building. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to and, sorry, yeah. to my point is that your your boardrooms are named differently, mm-hmm. and you also have like a, not like a photo booth, but like this area that's just got words of encouragement and affirmations like everywhere. Yeah. So like, where do you get that from? Or yeah, where does that love for affirmations come from? I just think people, we get so busy. Um, we get busy doing the work and we don't stop and think about, hey, what what does the world think of me? And what does the world think of what I'm doing and my contribution? Uh-huh. And we don't have the time to kind of interrogate that. So in in that sense, I wanted us to be able to remind people when it's tough, look up, right? Look up and just see something that reminds you that you're great. Um, see a word that tells you that, uh, you know, not taking a risk is the biggest risk. Um, something that reminds you that be obsessed with improvement. Something that reminds you that Upendo means love in Swahili. It's it's words that describe the collective. We've got Uvumbuzi, um, you know, create like Ubunifu means creativity. That's what we named our big boardroom. To say this is a place of all of these things. Mm. And when somebody outside of that building tells you you are something that you know you are not, something that we know you are not, when you walk into this place and it says this is our happy place, you are reminded of what we think of you. Whether you're a visitor, whether you're a client, whether you're the, the lady making tea, whether you're the MD, this is what Duma Collective thinks of you. So that's why we put all these words on the back of the T-shirt in a fingerprint. We're saying that your D, in your DNA is greatness, is <laughs> wisdom, is inspiration, is creativity, well is out. love. And that's why everybody walks away with the T-shirt from the kickstart to say, wherever you go, remember that this is what we think of you. So I want to go back to the thing of, of success, right? Um, and, and, and talking about like what, what, what it means to you, right? And, and the reason why I, I kind of brought up that topic as well is because as South Africans, we all have like, to me, it seems like we've all kind of gotten like one image of success, right? Mm. We, we're always trying to dress the same buy the same cars, mm. live in the same areas mm-hmm. and just do the same things because we think that is success, yeah. right? So that's why I asked you, how do you define success? And what was the one thing? And I think you kind of touched on it with your car, uh, but what was the one thing that you were like, if I attain this or if I get here, I will know that I am now successful. Ooh. Um, <laughs> was it the building? I, was it? 
I really want to be honest the about team. it and say, you know how you asked me what was my dream and I told you I didn't have one. I yeah. just mm. wanted to be influential, etc. Yeah. Um, I haven't had a measure of success. I don't have a thing that I would say when I get here, I, I'm, I'm, made it. I'm done. Mm-hmm. Simply because I'm the type of person who just keeps going, right? That it's, if I can wake up tomorrow and still love what I do, I am successful. Yeah. And the day after that, and the day after that. So the building was a great achievement until we got a second one. I was like, oh, okay, there's more. Yes. And I will tell you, um, you know, the second building was gifted to us. It's the most miraculous act of God anyone can imagine because it was it's it's a company that is not South African and they found us on Google mm-hmm. as a black young owned marketing agency and then they engaged us and they said we want to buy your building because we need to get BE points. And I said, oh, okay, this doesn't sound real, but let's try it out. Yeah. And then like 14 months later, they bought us the months. building next door. It's in our name. We have get an actual yeah. three-story building. Epaletina. That's the one we actually own because the one we are in right now, we're still in a JV with FNB, right? Because uh. <laughs> got a bond. <laughs> so there's a How slight technicality on the ownership. <laughs> James. No, we pay a decent amount um, a every month, but building. we're also trying to pay it off as quickly as possible because we want to, you know, be own able it. to own it yeah. fully mm. and have title deeds and all of that so we can just expand on our asset base. But it's that, Uguti. Just when you think you've reached your pinnacle, God mm. says, wait, I'm not done. Mm. So when you cap your success and you say, if I get this car, You'll never... I'm successful. Mm. What happens when they, someone wants to buy you a helicopter? Mm. They're like, okay, mm. now I've got a helicopter. I'm successful. But then God says, no, wait, there's a jet in store. Yeah. Mm. So that's mm. been kind of my thing. Um, and it's also not a, like attaching it to material positions because... Amen. By and large, I don't live in a house that I should be as a CEO, right? Oh, I'm CEO of this company that employs uh-huh. 50 people and, and should be staying in an drive. estate and I should be driving mm. and, yeah. a Bentley an AMG by four. or a who? Mm. No. Just like me. <laughs> yes, I should be like Titi driving an AMG, you understand? No, no. It's a quid. A quid. A quid. By choice. Okay. By choice. Yeah, by you choice. could be driving. Cool. You're not going to be driving four letters or three letters. You could be but driving, <laughs> <laughs> mine's five a letters. Quid sport. <laughs> <It's> very. <laughs> Very safe car. Very safe. 48 the safe, Apex. The safest the car in the world. The safest car in the world. Safest car in the world. If I say safest car in the world, please. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. Switzerland, let's go. But that's my thing. It's like, I like the oh, fact that yeah. the, you are bringing more uh, genres to success, mm. you know? Because, uh, you know, like, it's nice to know that there's a genre of, you know, doing all the other stuff that we know rich people to be doing. But there's other genres too, you know, there's people that get their own horses, yeah. there's people who own uh, eels, there's people what? who, own, yeah, yes. like uh, electric oh, eels, yes. there's people who, who farm <laughs> eels. You have a thing with electricity today, child. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but but, you, <laughs> but the reason why I also want to talk about this, I right, is, is, finish your point. Is it? No, I'm done with the no, point, it's yeah. fine. No, but the reason why we're talking about, and to add what, what, what to what you're saying, is that uh, a lot of us will look at success and we'll go, having money means I can just buy things. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't realize that sometimes having money is God's way of blessing you to say you can now do more. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it is do more for more. That's my motto for this year. It's um, doing more for more. The concept of overflowing. God doesn't overflow your cup for the fact of it overflowing. It's so that it's too much for you and you're forced to actually point to someone else. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I must tell God, this year, Kenyaka Jag or Jojo Tank. <laughs> Jojo Tank, yeah. Because, hey, this year is too much, hey. Do yeah. more for more. Wow, quack it. Do and, more for more. And it's do more for myself. Yeah. Um, Because I I also realized at some point that I'm doing so much for other people, I don't even have the time to go do my nails. One hour. Wow. Mm. And that's because, important. And that's what I was going to ask you yeah. next is that with you doing so much for everybody, what do you, like, what do you do? Because I always see you working. 
And even when I catch you, it's in between mm. work. Sibu is always working even when she's chilling. Yeah. Because she's looking at how certain things could have been different. Sibu, <laughs> enjoy this festival. Mm. At Pantry, she was just God. looking at everything. Just, you know, if the entrance was actually... <laughs> I know, I thank God. You see, if this stage was, ah, uh, Sibu, uh, enjoy this thing. I was enjoying God. it. I was loving it. Because you oh. always put everyone's needs ahead of yours, right? Like, yeah. even, even when we met at Pantry, mm. for example, you know, I was like, bro, Oxtail pizza. You're like, what? Oxtail oh, you changed pizza? my life. And you're yeah, like, cheeseburger what? And then she had it. Too, also. And then, and then, and then she was like, let's eat my pizza while you wait for yours. You, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that, that's something you didn't, but you were just like, bro, that's, that's who you are in your nature. Yeah. So I want to know, when do you point to your cup and what do you do to sort of spend time with yourself and, and reward yourself? So, um... I've, I've, I've struggled with this in my life, with people in my life, in my personal life, understanding how much I love work. Yeah. Like I'm always working. It seems like I'm always working because I've turned things I love into work. I love communication, social media. I love it. I actually love seeing how people think, engage, respond to things. And now social media is my work. I love amplifying stories and creating narratives. PR is my work. I love events. I love putting on great experiences, experiences for yeah. people. Mm. Events is my work. I love beautiful things and how, you know, pictures and colors and words and typography kind of shape narratives and how people see things. We've got a multimedia design um, department. I, I really love talent and the whole influencer thing really has you know, made me very curious about how people position themselves in the context of selling things. <laughs> Now we've got an influencer campaign department. So it's all of that. I've taken things I love and we make a profit out of it. So that's why I don't feel like I'm always working. Because even the work still pours into your cup. Absolutely. Pause. So in the traditional sense, what do I, do? I sleep. I sleep. I'll go to a spa. Even when I'm at the spa, I'm really like, yo, this space is nice. <laughs> but if we Maybe can... Maybe we yeah. can... Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you're a control freak? No. I think no. no. There's a thin line between control freak and being excellent. Aye. Come on, TRH, baby. Aye. 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 We're not going to romanticize this question. No. We're going to ask this question. The way it must yeah, be Yeah, strict, eh? You cannot romanticize. No, the thing is sometimes... No, I agree with it. Sometimes, right? Sometimes we take things that... Sometimes we we let success lie to you and say everything is good. You understand? Yeah. We have to ask. You must. You know, and 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 if we get the right, if we get the success, we successful because of the trauma. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I could be, yeah, I could have been successful because I hate somebody. And that person's hate the the hate that That's I hate for some for somebody you. has fueled me to be excellent. Yeah. And and it doesn't mean it's coming from a healthy place. I'm just asking. Are you think you're a control freak? <laughs> no, and it's a, it's a good question because yes, yes, it is. someone like me can come across as one, um, because I'm so driven by excellence. I'm so driven by be consider be absolutely considerate of the thing that you're doing. Be considerate of the fact that there are people that must experience this thing. There are people whose jobs are dependent on this. When you're servicing a client, their job is on the line. Their KPIs are in your hands as a person who's executing. All of that kind of stuff. But why I say I'm not a control freak anymore is because I've learned to um, share responsibility. Delegation. Mm. And it's not even a delegation thing anymore. Like Delegation is you do this, you do this. It's me deciding. You gotta you're going to do this, you're going to do CEO, that, yeah. you, you understand? Mm. But with sharing responsibility, there are things that happen to Duma Collective that I'm just like, I'm surprised myself. Like, <laughs> oh, what? We're doing what? Oh, that's nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like, things have changed. You see that wall of words that you spoke of? Mm. I came to the office one day, all the words are gone. I said, okay, cool. I'm not going to ask about it. I'm sure the person... The words. No, but I'm sure the person who decided to remove those words has a plan for that wall. Oh. Oh. And I'm not going to ask about it. <clears throat> so when you come back, it's different things. Like, yes. Janko means thank you. And... Maybe. <laughs> or maybe they're going to get a nice oh, Nelson Makamo yeah. mural or something. I don't know. I just trust that the people who have been empowered with the, with the duty to execute on their roles know what they're doing and they're doing it to the best of their ability. Am I going to contribute an idea here and there? Absolutely. Am I going to say, hey, have you thought about calling Mpo um, da -da -da for this thing? And then they're like, oh, no, we actually didn't. And then boom, Mpo's at DSTV Delicious. Yeah. So it's to um, 
trust that people are able to do what you've called on them to do. Mm -hmm. And that's why I can absolutely, resolutely declare that I am no longer a control freak. Mm. I, I want to I ask you, yeah. yeah, yeah? Yeah, so, um, um, I know, Kiron, <laughs> I think I forgot my... <laughs> My three no thought. Which one is this one? It's at a station right now. You know, talking about romanticizing. Yes. I think up until now we've we've you know we've we've kind of spoken about like your successes more than your failures, right? Um, this hasn't been an easy road. No. Not at all, especially in the position that you're in, you know, because like Titi said, we don't want to get into the politics of like, oh, what it means to be a young black girl making it in the big bad world. Mm. But like what are some of the challenges you faced just as a business person? Mm -hmm. And and <clears throat> so what, what what are some of the challenges that you faced? And what are like some of the worst experiences you've been in in trying to make it in this industry? Sure. Um, I think the biggest challenge has been being a creative that's trying to run a business. You know? Hey. hey. The... <laughs> 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 Yeah. Right? Hey. <laughs> it's so difficult going from being someone who just wants to do cool things to someone who has to do the the ugly stuff. Like, oh man, I must pay my tax, but there's so much money. <laughs> oh, like, why? It's going to nothing. It's being wasted. And you've got to negotiate with yourself to either be corrupt or just do the thing you're supposed to do. Because unfortunately for you, that's how the world works. Yeah, exactly. You have to pay your tax. One, you, yep. you just have to, mm. whether you like it or not. And you must now be clever or frugal enough to recognize we'll see, the money that's Sorry, in my business Sibu. account. So we've got Cheese Gang from Ah, Siboke. That might not understand that Tax. word that you meant. Frugal. Mm. Oh, fruga. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Banana <laughs> fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand what it means? So me are, from you, Sibuke. are you... <laughs> Mara frugal king. Are you asking for a friend? What's frugal? I'm asking for a friend. Me, I don't know. I won't lie. What's a frugal? How to be frugal? <laughs> check, check, check. Look at him. Look frugal at him. Look frugal. Do you know? Yes. Look at him. Look at him. It's, it's an animal, isn't it? It's when you don't want to spend too much even though you've got it. Right? Yes. Frugal is when stingy. you have a, when you are. Ah, ah, you have a million. Stingy is stingy. You you take take it. It. <laughs> Frug no, frugal is where you go, I've got the money, but I'm not going to be wasteful. Yeah. So it's almost I, like being I'm, a minimalist with yeah, finances. It's, it's being careful with your spending. Yes. So someone who's got a lot of money but doesn't spend money is frugal. Lots of white people are frugal. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's why they drive yeah. land cruisers and, and land and own land. And own land. <laughs> <laughs> Frugality at its finest. Rona, G Wagon, renting, penthouse. Yeah. Our and taxes are you know, I actually want to just touch yeah. on that. I, I really think we should pizza our judgment of how people choose to pour Spend. into their own lives. Maybe, yeah. Whichever way okay. we want to determine sure. whether they work for it or not. Because... Oh, there's also that other. Yeah, but yeah. Like, you don't because know sometimes. what what they are servicing inside of themselves by doing that. The person who um, decides to get money and spend the money on something because it's going to make them happy. Mm. Like Dylan's One Series. A Yes. They were like, uh, if, uh, you please go been... watch that episode to understand yeah. what we're talking about. <laughs> yes. But yeah. it it is that the uh, day I I'm going to show measure of success. Yes. The day I'm able to afford a BMW One Series, I'm going to get it. Whether I live in a shack or I live in a mansion, mm. the One Series is the thing that's going to make me happy. Mm. Yeah. And we just have to accept it. see that happiness is what's going to make him the next million rand to buy the house. Mm. So for now. This is what he can afford. And if he's Let driving a Brabus and renting in Midrand, it's fine. That's what makes yeah. him happy. And that's what's going to kutaza him to yeah. do the next okay. thing. Yeah. So I, I I really would encourage us as a people. We are encouraged. Okay. You know why we judge people though, Sibu? I feel like it's the content that, we get, that we're being dished out, right? Mm. I think we've watched so many I Blew It stories. Mm. Mm. Season to be, two. To be like... Season three. To be like... There's a pattern here, guys. Mm -hmm. We keep repeating the same mistakes because mm -hmm. we have a, a warped sense of what success is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all, the moment we, we, we become successful, we want to go to Devon. <laughs> we go I think shoes, that's shoes the greatest marketing campaign for, for Kids and Tourism, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. In a bus. You know, 
you know, and then we want to buy <clears throat> a lot of cars and drive them in a convoy and like party you. and mm-hmm. and and buy the expensive alcohol that we never could afford. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you know what I mean? And it's like you, your body doesn't even agree with that alcohol. Stick to you. But we Savannah. don't. I'm sure we don't know ourselves. We're, we're not. <laughs> we're not taught to know ourselves. We're not taught to Ooh. spend time discovering what you like as a as an individual. And Makula, in the context of black families, is the the spirit of Ubuntu. Where every holiday we go to one person's house. Yes. And standard. all the kids are there, and you're all gonna eat the same thing. Yes. Mm. Yeah. That's already when you come from conflicts in the morning. Everybody. Everybody. And that's already the first place where you feel like I have to assimilate even against my own wishes and yes. desires. Yes. Because if I don't, I'm going to get mocked for not wanting a good yep. dog. Mm-hmm. Where where I come from, I like conflicts. So you're not encouraged to like what you like. You're not encouraged to discover what you like, to try different things out, to say, okay, let me experiment with this, etc. So when we see that that's what success looks like, that's what people are attracted to, that's what will make people want to talk to me, what am I going to do? I'm going to do that yeah. versus, oh. oh, this is what I have decided mm, I like. That's very because we also, as a, as a people, look down on people who choose to take the road less traveled. Oh. So, why are you doing that? You oh, know, like yeah. with social media, when the social media influencer revolution kind of started to take off, when people were doing it, but... But I was busy with Kim Kardashian. I mean, what's going on with Kim Kardashian, law? And then you look today, Michelle is making hundreds of thousands of brands from doing what people were looking down on mm. in the beginning. Bro, comedians. Okay. Saying to comedians who are doing social media, oh, oh. selling out, selling out to her, buying a car, papa. Yeah. Comedy <laughs> 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 central. Games, you. <laughs> but it is that it's it's difficult to it's it's difficult to be the the outlier. It's mm. difficult to just go against the grain because mm. we're not we don't have enough stories of people who've succeeded at doing that. We sure. see more. Or we choose to tune into more of what people um, are doing that seems easy mm-hmm. or seems attainable. Yeah. And mm-hmm. because we also think as human beings, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Life is short. Yes. You've got to do everything now. Yeah. So if I get money today, I must spend it today because uh. YOLO, life is short. I mean, I, I, I wonder how this episode is actually going to perform because I'm definitely the least famous person you've had on this chair. But I wonder... We've if heard. people <clears throat> actually care for this kind of information, if they actually care for a a story that is different to the story that they to I'm popular, mm. yes. I'm famous. Because that's the that's the first Look thing at me. I can tell you in the live comments now. It started. Who's, Who's this? this? <laughs> and then I, 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 have though. you run out of guests? <laughs> uh, but not run out of we, people we, to we've bring. Actually, we've actually <laughs> built, we've actually built a network of people that go. I don't think this episode would do well, but I love the conversation. Yeah, I love yes. how you guys are not yeah. just bringing people that we know. So actually, like the cheese girls and cheese boys are quite woke. Yeah, they, like, they are, we motivate and, and we laugh life, as well. Yeah. So that balance is very dope because yeah. this level of motivation and mm. intel. No, here like, there's no hype here. We're mm. not, we're yes. not popularizing the thing because what I really love about what you've done with your career is that you. You've kind of carved your way into becoming a stakeholder and a real stakeholder. You know, as at the at the Showmax event, we were at the Showmax launch, and Which? everybody was there. But you could tell that I wasn't the, there. Uh, I mean, everybody. I was uh, we were Good there for on you. your behalf, Pops. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You, yeah you were working. Just wanna tell us who knows pan. No, <laughs> I'm I'm letting Sibu know why I wasn't there. But oh. you're Showmax family, so it's fine. Yes, yes. you show yes, Max yes. family. And we represented you. Yeah, yeah. we so represented When you say everybody was there and I wasn't there, I feel like the people who never made it to okay. the start. <laughs> Some... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop. All right. You're fucking like Some me. people were there. You know, <laughs> people forgot watching this episode. Like, oh, go on, I wasn't invited. Right. Mm-hmm. So started. the usual mix oh. launch was. Loa is probably was... commenting on the comments now. Ah. Ah. He was invited. Ah. Hey, please Pops. continue, we... sir. All right. <laughs> hey, okay. If you're show invited, you are invited, you are at the event in the show mix, right? The show mix event this weekend, right? There, there was a clear divide, right? Because I walked in quite late, right? not quite late, but a little bit later than ev- everybody. Naturally. So there was a <laughs> what? Nothing, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. There's a first time. So there was a bit of a divide in in the 
tiers of people that you hear speaking, right? The people speaking and the people you see are very different types of people. Mm. And the people you interact with on the floor. Because we're doing, we are mastering like some interviews with the people. So you get to talk to everybody. Mm. So you get to understand why that person was on stage. Because you don't know these people, especially the ones that talk. You don't mm. know any of them. And then you don't know the people that they talk about. Then you're like, oh, okay. So there are different levels of being a stakeholder. We, as I don't want to speak for all black people, but for me, I'm, I want us to get, to get rid of the idea of chasing to be, to be, to be part of the group. Because we are already part of the group. We are part of the stakeholders. We are part of the economy. Yeah. The economy runs on us. Yeah. Now we need to be the people that say the rent is this value tomorrow. Yeah. Let's try it out and see what it is or what it's not. Because what it is is that we are all saying, yeah, black women have it hard and then they fight. And then, But you're like, there's some black women that don't have to fight that struggle anymore because yeah. they fought it before. Yeah. Now let's talk about where they are and where they're going. Let's talk about where we are, where we're going. Let's, let's talk about the after. We are still talking about Mandela, brah. Mm. Do you find that there's enough black people in positions that matter within our industry? Absolutely. And, and are those black people doing things that are beneficial and growing uh, our people. I think in, enough is relative. Enough, enough is relative, right? Yeah. Because they can all, we can always have more. Mm -hmm. Always have more. Um, and there are some black people who are in positions of power and they are trying their very best to open up um, opportunities and create seats at the tables and then you get other black people who are building tables and they're like hey guys let's go let's work and then you also get black people who get given an opportunity and they just waste it mm. Mm -hmm. they and get then given 10 million for an event they spend nine or <laughs> they four. take nine and they use one exactly um, and and that, that <laughs> <clears throat> so that kind of thing. That's yes, why your Marsha. events are so dope. I you spend use all the, the money. money. <laughs> you use all, all of the it. money, <laughs> and the money it looks good. But you man. can see yes. when someone uses all the money. But you can see it. It's not even just on the events. Like but when when we book a talent to do something, and we make an offer, we're usually like we're pitching the most, the absolute most money we can give you that the client has given us. Where a number of people will want to like first eat off the top mm. and then negotiate with you, you to see mm. okay how much can we save yeah, and I'll then how much can yeah man like uh, me getting again. 100 yeah exactly and <laughs> we've always been of the belief we would see just do the right thing and you'll keep getting more do the right thing so if i've only got 10 rand say dog i got 10 bucks mm. that's all i have if i can find more i will mm. robot knows that would mm. see today this is what we have on the next one, if I have more, you're getting the full bag. So it's that as a people, if we can just condition ourselves to want to do work we can be proud of. Because yes. right now we do have a pandemic of people who are just doing things to say they did them and b banking money um, for this thing that we're operating from a place of fear. Yes. When mm. this person is out of power, hey, the taps are closed. And you're seeing it right mm -hmm. now in our government. Or would mm -hmm. see they are really scrambling to bank as much as they can because well, they, they can. are fearful mm -hmm. that they're going to be out of power mm -hmm. and what's going to happen to them oh. then. And Imagine I'm like, people but in guys... People fearing being out of power. It shows that we're the ones that have the power the, to give them the power. Absolutely. But now... But it's like that in, in every industry is what you say. Yeah, mm. but it's, it's not even just like... I think the, the thinking is so what because now you've got money. You're a, a government stakeholder. You've raked up all of this cash that's supposed to be building hospitals, fixing roads, uh, fixing our taps, our water infrastructure, sewage, all of that stuff. You have the money. You're going to buy a Ferrari. It's going to drive on roads with potholes. Mm. Are you thinking... Yeah. No. Are you actually now you're gonna build a house in an estate? I know electricity. You're gonna put solar, yeah. you're gonna put backup Instead power. Of fixing okay, the electricity that's cute. Problem. But Even now we're gonna have a water issue. Oh no, I'll put JoJo tanks. Okay, great. Is it gonna just collect from the rain? Okay, but you're not woke to the global climate crisis that we have. Yeah. So what happens when we don't have rain? Well, is there rain. going is there going to be water from the dams? No, because the dams are broken. Damn. So it's peep dam. <laughs> People are not thinking about the consequences of greed, of mkhopolo. They just don't understand, Uti, you're operating from a place of fear today yeah. and trying to 
save yourself at the cost of everybody else. One day, the poor people are going to eat the rich. We keep getting told that. Yes. And when that, that day comes, the apocalypse, yeah. rich hmm. people will have nowhere to go because they haven't built anything to save themselves. But that's why the rich Ooh. then... But yeah. then, but yeah. then, that, that's yeah. why the rich, yeah. I think bar. the rich have built a very big fear mechanism to really just instill their, their, their position in power. Uh, politically, so, you know, there are people who are still scared today of changing their vote, they're still, of exploring their vote, whatever, wherever it goes, uh, you know, that, that has nothing to do with me. But... Just that, like somebody is just scared to say, hey man, you know, this kind of poverty thing is not nice. Let me try a changing a different vote. They're scared of it because they're like, hey, you know, a party or something mm. else or some other type of fear mechanism. And that's what rich people all over the world use. Everyone is scared of change some way or somehow, especially when it comes to their well-being. Yeah. Because often expressing yourself in this country means compromising your well-being. Your father leaving his job that is not good for his mental health. Mm. Now he has to be a, a unemployed father. Mm. You know, that's that's a very big fear for a lot of people. You changing your own career, uh, whatever it is, there's so much fear, man. Like, and I, I don't know how to get... That one, I don't even have an idea of how to even tackle. I think it's a, it's a community thing. It's an information thing. It's a dialogue. It's a conversations. Conversation. What conversations are you having with your your aunts and your uncles? What conversations yeah. are you having with your cousins? What yeah. conversations are you having with your, your children and their friends? And mm -hmm. like, how do we ex get into a space where we can healthily exchange opinions mm -hmm. and not um, be as judgmental as we are? We're, very, we're such a judgmental people as we South are. Africans. We, we judge everything and mostly negatively. When do we get to a point where we start to be positive about our outlook on things and say, hey, man, but what if it works out if we vote for these people? What if mm. it works out sure. if we yeah. educate ourselves? What if we go and we actually look at the policies of this, this party versus this party? What if we actually research the backgrounds of the people, the political heads of those organizations? What if we did a show where two people come and debate their policies as young people. And we say, party, uh, when a leader of the Red Party sits here, leader of the Black, Green and Gold sits here, let us ask you questions. What if we do that? And we start to look at things from a point of wanting to inform ourselves to make decisions. Because currently, we're so uh, easily influenced by mm. what other people saying, what's trending. <clears throat> Mm. And not just like how yeah. often do you go onto Twitter and you go X and you check the trending topic and then you go into there and then you see something. There's something called um, unconscious bias where you see a post and because it's got so many reposts, so many likes, you automatically engage that post mm. because you think, oh, the masses are actually, this is the direction we're going. Mm. We're dissing this person today. Okay, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. ask, but have you thought maybe <laughs> she didn't stage a whole wedding? Why would she spend so much money doing that? Mm -hmm. What's the reason? Is she launching a production company? Yes. Okay, then maybe that's why she did it. Mm -hmm. Not for clout. Who spends so much money to just say, get 100,000 likes on Instagram? <laughs> who does that? Like, does anyone ask that yeah, to yeah. say, who would do that? Automatic mm -hmm. assumption. Yes. Why? We don't stop and think. Oof. Mm. A but do you have a safe space to think? I no? absolutely love that. No, I, you know, it comes back to what you were saying, right? About like operating from a place of fear, mm. right? And I think, I think what Sibu was also saying to us is that if we just stop operating from a place of fear, because even rich people fear negativity. are operating mm. from a place of fear. Let me get as much as I can while I can, because I fear I might lose this. You were mentioning that uh, poor people also operate from a place of fear. They, they fear change. So if I think how I didn't say it like that, you literally said people fear change. <laughs> no, I said not poor people. I just said people, people in general. In general. Like, I don't know Which one is this one? People say, "Hey, I'm poor, and I want change." Why are you saying I'm afraid? Because that's all you want as a poor person is change, bro. For the better. Yes. You want change for the better, but sometimes people don't want to change. They don't want to change their thinking. They don't want to change their diet. They don't want to change 
their mindset. They don't want to change their situations. They don't change their relationship, mm. even though they know they're not in a great relationship. Because mm. hey, they, they fear know. what's out there. They or they just don't know, guys. There's also that. Sometimes yeah. you're just not empowered. You don't have exposure. You don't have... People perish for a lack of knowledge. Yes. And you don't have the behavior. Some of these things are learned, right? If you look at a lot of people who are in bad situations, if you track back their family, like how their families work or the families they come from, and you look at how many people have been in similar situations, then you'll see, oh, this thing is learned There's behavior. There's a pattern. Uh-huh. Where you'll go to someone else's family who's kind of gotten some, some level of um, success or like being able to get out of their situation, you'll find somewhere in their lineage there was someone who did a similar thing and was mm. able to get out of it. So let's also be conscious of the fact that we don't know what we don't know, but we also have contexts and histories that we have no control over. Mm. And that's why Abantu need exposure. You, I was exposed to the world of entertainment through Take a Girl Child to Work Day. I got to go uh. into the set of Muvango as a 13-year-old uh. and see that, oh my God, this thing is in a studio. That's crazy. Mm. It's not an actual house. Mm. It's not a, <laughs> you know, they're not actually in Venda. Mm. And they speak yeah, English the in corner. between takes. And they do, right? And they actually like, you know, it's not just coming out of your brain, these words, and you're just getting to know each other. I, I got to see on the ground, this is how television is made. And that informed a lot of what I do today because yeah. it's like, wow, okay, if I didn't know that, if I didn't see that, my mm. dad used to run a security company and they had the Jobic Stadium contract. I went to a Boys to Men concert. I went to Casey and Jojo. I went to Mary J. Blige. He was doing the Michael, did the Michael Jackson concert as a black man running mm. a security company with 3,000 security guards. If I wasn't exposed to that, mm. I wouldn't understand the world of business today. I wouldn't be able to confidently command a boardroom if my father hadn't put me in those spaces as a child. Mm. So exposure goes mm. such a long way. And I think the, the, what, what the system has managed to do to my people is keep them underexposed, keep them ill-informed, keep them undereducated so that they cannot even contemplate a way to get out of the situations yeah. that we are put into. Can I just add yes. another experience yes, that you, you, that I see in you and um, a lot of us that were in the master's era? Masters of rhythm. Masters of rhythm, guys. And there's people that maybe don't know that era. There was a time in this country where young dancers, kids, were more popular than rappers. Yes. Um, actors act like we were running things in that time frame where artists used to want to perform before us because they know we're going to kill it yes. from Masters of Rhythm Strictly um, Channel O Dance Conversation all these things and I think that generation too and those type of experiences where you're a young person and you controlling the youth in your school outside your school and in your area Yeah. like how did that just like in closing that experience too like affect the fact that you believe in young people now and you move with that confidence. I, 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 it's, Ugh. you know, big shout out to Clinch and everybody who was involved from Simba to Jay um, to Ollie and, and the fact that they were able to allow me the space to be myself. And myself was someone who was just ambitious and curious and creative and mm. wanted to do cool things because I got a chance to go to Germany and compete in the South African hip hop dance team or with the South African hip hop dance team and see this world of white people, black people, Indian people, all young dancing. Mm-hmm. There are brands who are activating and we're all competing for the love of dance. And even after you lose to some Polish hip hop team, you're still shaking hands still and buying dope. burgers together and everybody's friends exchanging wow. Facebook contacts and that oh. kind of thing, right? Mm. So when I come back home, I'm like, whoa, how do we do this for our own people? And luckily there was a community of the repertoires, Clinch, 4 Deep, all of these different dance crews that just said, yo, we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do it together. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Tato. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> um, we had the exposure to You Got Served on TV. We had the exposure to Stomp the Yard on TV, Bring It On, yeah. Save the Last Dance. All of these shows that showed us what we could create. And we decided to take that and run with it and make it mm. an environment or a community where people who love the same thing can come together and be themselves and do cool things and find ways to get paid for it. So it's, it's really that people require information. 
Mm-hmm. People want an opportunity to be able to just better themselves. What better looks like is different to you. It's different to you. Yeah. It's yes. different to me. It's different to yeah. you. However, yes. if we just give us a chance mm. yes. and give us the information and yeah. give us the access to the opportunities mm. and then also give us the space to learn and grow and improve and develop, then we will see a better and bigger South Africa than any of us could imagine. Yeah. Oh, beautiful words. It. From a beautiful lady, ladies and gentlemen. Her name is Sibu Mapena. Sibu, sure. thank you so much for imparting so much knowledge mm. on us, mm. on the Cheese Gang. Like, honestly, uh, the thing you said about, oh, people are not going to watch this. I think we, we've we also been very intentional in, in creating a space where people understand what the product is. We motivate and we laugh as well, right? And it's conversations like this that the Cheese Gang really look forward to. It's, mm. it's conversations like this that we know that it doesn't matter. Like w- we said to you when we started, before we were off camera, we said, we don't care about views. Mm. It's about what we're imparting, mm. right? Mm. And, it's, and it's always those comments where people go, I didn't know who this person was, or I didn't know this thing, or, but I ended up watching, and this is how much I got from it. Thank I'm going to rewatch you. this. Thank you so Thank much you. For, for, for imparting all the knowledge that you've impart, uh, imparted on us. And thank you for that. Thank you for being intentional about your platform. Thank you for going against the grain. Um, y- you guys are really doing a great thing. And please don't ever tire of it. Whether it, it gets to where you guys are collectively envisioning it to, or it goes in a completely different direction, please do not stop. And to every... Every cheese girl, cheese boy, it's actually in your control where this thing goes, yeah. right? Because that's the type of people you guys are. Yeah. You listen to your audience. Yeah. You are actually caring about what they learn, know, laugh about, experience. And I really hope you never give up on building this platform because it's so big and it's actually going to be bigger than any one person in this room right now. So thank you for what you're doing. Oh, I am. Hey. If we were planning on quitting after that, forget about it. No, stop. Forget it. No, no, no. Forget it. Never. Um, You know, in closing, because we know we have to let you go because there's a a boardroom waiting for you to conquer. Um, (laughs) What are are your... What are your future plans? I, 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 I know you, you're at a great place in your business, but what does the future look like for Duma Collective? What does the future look like for South African Entertainment? What does the future look like for Sibu Mapena? And what's the one thing you want to say to any cheese boy or cheese girl watching this going, mm. when I grow up, I want to be like Sebu Mabena. Okay, I'm going to start with that one. Yeah. Um, I th- I'm an example of what can happen if you just really decide. Mm-hmm. You have to decide and then do it. So you don't want to be like Sebu Mabena. You want to be better. You want to be bigger. You want to be more influential. You want to be greater. So that's what I want you to want because the world has so much room and so much space for people to do better than what I'm doing. Oof. So that's that's it to every every cheese boy, every cheese girl. Can you guys just really decide that yeah. you want to be great at what you're doing yeah. and do it with everything that you can? Um, plans for myself. In a couple of years, I want to be a public servant. Oh, yes. What's um, a public servant? I want to work oh, for yes. my country. Like a government worker. I want, want to work to for my country. country. <laughs> I serve want to either, country. whether it's in government, whether it's in an NGO or an NPO, yeah. I want to be able to... You have our vote. Thank yes. you. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. a, I'm You've a, got yeah. three votes already. That's, yeah. I'm making uh, strides. I'm making... <laughs> oh, like a political moving. party vibes. No. <laughs> I will not be a politician. Servant. Yeah. Um, but I want to work for my country and be able to impact people's lives who will never, ever be able to pay me back. I want to I like be able that. to sure. change a life um, through what I'm able to do, whatever it is, whether it's contributing my intellect, my experience, my creativity, my hands. Um, 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 yeah. That's my personal ambition. So I'm giving this marketing and entertainment and for-profit world another couple of years. Um, and then... I'm going into public service. That's what I'll be doing. Uh, Duma Collective, there's no limit 
this this world has 195 countries registered to the United Nations. I think it's 195 point something because of this whole Palestine Israel thing. But oh, I thought you were um, going to say Lesotho Swaziland because uh, uh, I'm not sure if they uh, full countries. They, they, they counted yeah. they counted <laughs> us twice for them. Point five. <laughs> You have to use a passport to get into those countries. Those are countries, okay? One of those countries is a point five. Yeah, yeah. Those are back rooms in <laughs> South yeah. Africa. Yes, but yes, yes. It is to say um, there's so much world to conquer. There's there's so many experiences for the people we currently work with to have and be able to use their passports. You know, we get to go to the US with some of the team to go and experience NBA All-Star Weekend. Someone has been to Dubai to go and work there for a month under Duma Collective. You know, that's the kind of thing we want to be able to say we we do. We have offices in Nigeria, in EMEA. Yeah. So there's a term yeah. called EMEA, yeah. Europe, Middle East, Africa. Mm. We want to say we've got a regional office servicing EMEA. Yeah. Or mm. that's that's what we're building towards now. So I'm I'm traveling quite a bit to go and just explore and make some inroads and make some connections. I'm gonna be in Dubai judging awards there and you know, making connections. And that's the kind of work we're putting in now to say in ten years time, we've got offices. Yeah. In Around other parts world. of the world. Mia. Yeah. Mia, Mia. Well, Mia, Mia. Yeah. That's yeah. our plan I now. Wish, I really mind. wish that popcorn and cheese can carry on as, as in our own personal capacity, the relationship with, we have with people like you. Yes. I really yes. wish that because it feels good. Mm. It feels good. What's funny now? Spew, uh, uh, spew. Hey, Adria, shake it Good to go on, man. <laughs> yeah, I really <laughs> wish that we can continue. <laughs> okay, my okay. friend. Okay. Fred, so yeah, okay. to go. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you try hey. this one. <laughs> <laughs> Love you so much. No, but See. yeah, what I'm saying is that it, it it really is refreshing to work with people who care. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Danko. Uh, Auntie Sibs Mabena. Uh, <laughs> I've wanted to work with you for years. I've gotten the opportunity to work with you. For years? For years. And every time I work with you, it's better than the last time. Oh. Thank you for, for setting a precedence in, in our industry. Thank you for... Oh, now it's your turn. Good. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't no, feel no, good. But, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but 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 honestly, thank you so much for for taking pride in building what you've built over the years and making sure that you actually deliver on this term black excellence, right? You you are living proof of black excellence. You don't have to shout it. Mm. You are it. Oh. Yeah. And thank you for being it. Many people might have slept on you over the years. Many, many. <laughs> when you were still roommates with Devon Coco at Varsity. <laughs> Testing beats. <laughs> Testing beats. In Jan Lemga. And moves. She was a dancer, man. So she was Devon Gogo. Actually, she was in a dance crew. Devon Gogo was also in a dance crew. I'm telling you, pop in the lobby. Yeah, you must tell her to come here as well. So we want to say many people might have slept on you over the years, Sibu Mabena. But us, people from the South. Which? Shot Daddy. Mondio. Mondio. And Sir John Adamson High School. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We. I've never sleep. slept on you. Oh. And we want you to know, this must be a constant reminder, whether you take it home or whether you take it to one of your buildings. Oh, I put it in my couch in my corner office. Yes. <laughs> With yes. a view. With yeah. a view. So, With the view yeah. of the yeah. petrol yeah. price. When yeah. clients, when <laughs> clients <laughs> walk in, they go, oh, popcorn and cheese. And then, oh, yeah, because yeah, there's a shell next to you. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, great places have shells next to you. Yes. Like yes. streaming studios. Yeah. Shell down the road. Yeah, with so good pies. we want to say many might have slept on you, but we have never slept on you and we will never sleep on you. This is a token of our appreciation. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you people of the South are so cute, Dali. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dali. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This is very cute, guys. So, so oh, cheesy. Yeah. Oh, and I'm you. yeah. you're, 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 you're a human, man. Yeah, like, yo. Ah, I'm done. Yeah. You're the best, man. Yeah. yeah. Shabu. Who you are as a person and the level of success that you at, it's such a it's such a marvel Mine's, to experience yeah. because a lot of people in your position aren't like you. Thank you for being what Zizi said, Motu. 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 Yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, that was the ever so talented, the ever so great uh, future Guamia Mia. Mia. <laughs>
business developer and owner and future civil servant of this country. Our next public protector is sitting here with us. Uh, I mean, well. well. <laughs> Me, My I'm not, not, no, we're not doing <laughs> that. Is a minister of <laughs> arts and culture. Yeah. Uh, social and development, maybe? Uh, yeah, no social development. I, yeah. I, I see you more there. Female president. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. President Mabena. Hey, hey, hey. Now we can't have a president of <laughs> Mabena. Can I leave you feeling a little angry? Ay, 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 ay. I promise I won't disappoint you. will conquer us. President Mabena. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ladies, we have you to let you go. As kids, we've, we've literally <laughs> ran over time. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for this amazing conversation. Titi Biscop Sundays, Robert Boy, more fire, Green Means Go, Go, get it, uh, new music coming. Uh, and then, yeah, Comedy most Central, ridiculous. Uh, most ridiculous. As but they show. Uh, we're I'm not plugging we anything. Don't, we don't want to tell you times, so I'm plugging everything. No, but this whole episode has been, a, it looks like a paid promo now. Yes, do you have anything to shamelessly plug quickly, quickly before Absolutely. we... Absolutely, guys, go. work hard. No one's coming to save us. That's my plug. That's, that's oh! My plug. No one is coming to save us. Please Nobody go out hard. and vote. Not Satan, yes. not God. Yes, yes. No, God. Just work God, God is... Satan Which one is this one? <laughs> you always bring Satan God helps in. those who help themselves. Where's that verse in the help Bible? Yourself. Where's that verse? <laughs> what do you mean? Where's that verse? A, d a, 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 Where a is prayer that verse? without a deed is dead. There's the. There's oh, he fetched you. Uh oh. Okay. What you gonna say? So you, instead of a prayer without what I'm a deed saying, is dead. So correct your first statement and with this statement. A prayer without a deed is dead. I'm not correcting it. I stand by my words. Not God is not even God is gonna save you. You save stand yourself. on that yeah. business, city. Stand, stand on, on that, that business, Bible. city. Oh hi! Oh, hi, and bestie. on that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sibu's bestie is here. Former generation star Queen Morocco <laughs> has just walked into the building. <laughs> We'll be with you just now, Sophie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> from the corn that pops and the cheese that's great, we, we are, are Robo Pops. Pops. And just like uh, Duma Collective in their new building, we, we are, are out. out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. I'm a cheese girl, I'm a cheese boy. Yeah. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dollar story. Pets and I'm a guest, I'm nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese.